Hi, it's Joey and today I'm going to be watching The Umbrella Academy Season 3, Episode 7, Auf Wiedersehen. I uh, don't know who we're saying goodbye to, that is what that means, right? I am so excited to be watching another episode of this show. Reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance. Edited version one week in advance, and let's begin. So she knows. Did she kill everyone? Oh, Jesus Christ. The bitch is dead, so make her daughter pay instead. Not exactly fair. You have killed a lot of people here. Did they, she hide an emergency briefcase there? Trust no one except for me. You know she literally killed you. Ma. He's from 1989. No wonder he's a weird kid. Or thing. Oh, we have work to do. You no. bastard. Always oh, happen. Oh yeah, Alison, you know, went psycho, capital punishment, don't consult anybody else about it. I think I had to be done. I'm just saying, should have been a family decision. And she should be apologizing to you for a lot more. You're the one having an identity crisis. Oh really? It's fine what you call what you did to me at the hotel. I call it sexual assault. Luther. I'm in. She's in. Well, she's the one causing the most division right now. The hell you two sentient STDs have actually been in there. Everything is leading so much love in this family. I definitely think we need to look into what this thing is because if Reginald was going up against it, there is a chance it was a bad thing. There's also a chance it's a good thing. No, it's obviously not that. Um, and it could explain a lot about Reginald. A lot of answers there potentially. Oh, Reginald is a psychopath. Um, there's also the Kugel Blitz to deal with, and maybe we should deal with that first, unless the two things are connected. I don't know. And we're together on this Kugel Blitz. Yeah? Or what? Well, Stanley won't be the last of us to disappear. She's not wrong this time. But we do need to figure out what this is. All of us here together. One big happy family. So happy! What did you do to Harlan? They didn't do anything. Alison did, because she makes decisions for everybody now, takes their opinion choices away. I don't understand. Why? Because he didn't deserve to live. You don't get to make that decision. Are you Is God now? So? No. 20 bucks on the little one. They don't get to tell us what to do. Jesus Christ. Not what happened. Oh, no. That's exactly what happened. It isn't, though. I know. Harlan killed all of our mothers. What? Oh. He did not do it intentionally. So do we now get to... what? Well, give you some kind of punishment like you um intentionally sexually assaulted luther so what is the punishment for that allison you have accidentally done a lot of things in your life so we're gonna just immediately trigger the full punishment of the law for that i know she's not in her right mental state right now but she does not get to go on the high ground right now what? Oh, yes i do think victor should have told them but i get why he didn't Plot twist. Harlan started all this. he didn't know what he was doing you need someone to blame. I'm right What makes here. you think I don't? Because you've already killed somebody and it wasn't Victor. Nope. It was revenge. To make sure she was bad, worse than Harlan. You know what? Maybe we should all just take a minute, okay? She had no right to kill Harlan. Like, A, it was making a decision that the whole family, if every fucking member of the Umbrella Academy was like, yes, we are medieval morons, we take revenge, fine, cool, it was at least a fucking democratic decision, I still wouldn't agree with it. Alison had no right to do that. Also, Victor did not in any way, shape or form kill their mothers. Killing Harlan now did not reverse what happened before. If it did, then that would be another whole decision to, to make. This kind of, once again, like, I just, I, under, I can't even begin to imagine what Alison is going through, but this is driving me insane. This pedestal she's putting herself on, because when she's just acting out of blind vengeance and greed, and she literally sexually assaulted somebody the night before. Killing Harlan, bring Claire back. Do you know what that felt like? He literally. Fight harder to protect a man who helped destroy my daughter than you ever did to bring her back. I don't know how to bring Claire back. How the fuck could Victor bring Claire back? There is no universe. If you said, oh, if he can use his powers, he could do X, Y, Z and bring Claire back, Victor would have fucking done it for you, Alison. Harlan, there was a way to save him, so Victor tried it. It wasn't choosing between the two because it's not... I know she's hurting and I know she's in a place right now of extreme pain, but she is just spiralling deeper and deeper and deeper. So quick to tell me to suck up my pain and so worried about fixing yours. Somebody had to pay. 
It's not justice, Alison. Okay, so how do we make you pay for sexually assaulting Luther? We don't want to like sexually assault you in return, or is that how we do things? You know, an eye for an eye. Obviously not. So maybe we could just lock you up. There's a from if he's built a house similarly. There's probably a bunker somewhere down below. We could lock you up for a while. Um, we could cut off your hand, maybe like old-fashioned thief. But like we're not medievalists. I just this is so. She's acting so superior over Victor. I'm not saying Victor has handled this perfectly. I don't know how the fuck you could handle this particular situation perfectly. But comparing these two situations, it is not as though the choice Victor had was bring Claire back or help Harlan. The choice was, oh, there is no way to bring Claire back. But when there was a way to bring Claire back, they were trying to get the freaking briefcase. The solution would have been to tell everyone about Harlan and to try and get the briefcase and to go back to before he killed all their mothers and take the power out of him then. Shut your mouth! Alison. Alison just gets away with everything now, right? Alison is way out of line here. I'm not saying Victor did everything right, of course he didn't, but Alison is out of control. It's with should have left you in the basement. Oh, Alison, alright! Good! Good! I don't support hitting, but Alison fucking had that coming. Maybe a slap would have been more appropriate because I don't agree with hitting. That went way too far. Like, the rest of them should be like, Alison, can you please just leave? You know, go grieve somewhere else. We'll deal with the situation and tell you if we need anything. You're clearly unstable. I necessarily don't think Victor should stick around either. Like, similarly, because he was keeping secrets and lashing out against Alison and everything, but like, that was cool, Alison. Yeah, you just did all that. Um, you know, Luther hasn't actually told us what you did to him. You just stick around. So frustrating. All right, I am going to end that recording there. I just kind of feel like we got to like a conclusion point. I'm going to restart my computer and hope that fixes whatever the freaking problem is. I'm so sorry. Killing Harlan did nothing. It didn't bring justice. It didn't help Alison feel better. It just was some weird petty revenge. You were a terrible father. And it's the same in this timeline too. I time I made it up to you. <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> Klaus. Uh huh. Stuff me in the trunk of your car. I help you master your powers. You stop blaming me for the sins of your other father. Allow us. You abuse these other kids just as much. Simply need the right coach. Do you trust me? No. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Of course there was something like that. And the bus didn't even stop. Why are none of these people stopping? Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. Like, the police would be here. He still should have consented to all of this. Now you're ready. Yep. We need Sloane, Lila, Christopher, and Victor. Mm hmm. Who you just isolated. It's not about you, Alison. Victor will help because he's not going to damn the whole world. And if he does, fuck it. <laughs> nothing that would make me love you less. Yep. Didn't mean that, did she? She needs to make. Alison needs to make amends. I'm not saying Victor handled everything perfectly, he did not, but. Harlan died for nothing either way because you would have had to come to work with them because if you wouldn't be the petty bitch saying oh no we won't work with you to stop the world because we won't can't kill an old man like there's no universe like that would make you the petty bitch so you would have come around to us anyway Harlan died for nothing so when Alison did what she did to Luther she like crossed the line and I was like wait when her character becomes repentant and tries to do better I was did not go down that path so fuck her right now you can do it, Klaus, in a very weird way. We should trust him in this moment. I don't trust him, but it's better than surviving the way you have been. Stupid brother to him. Accept my apology. Alison doesn't ask for apologies. Unless you're Victor, in which case nothing's ever good enough. 
when have you apologised to Victor today? Why are you saying that was once to Victor? You didn't apologise for anything about Harlan. And you didn't apologise to Luther yet. How do you feel about all of Fine. Great. You don't feel fine. In some new timeline, or Harlan probably never even existed anyway. <laughs> She's not well. That is the answer to everything we're going through right now. It's like figure skaters. And, um, For all the people to actually try and be helpful right now. This, I mean, this isn't really solving the problem, it's just containing it. Okay, so far so good. What you doing? You didn't tell me you were building a prison for God. Oh God. Oh. She's the going to kill you all. Was in my heart. Well, you've got to stop her from disrupting this lot. Okay. Can five just teleport her away? Please. We'll deal with her after. Together. You coward. It's not cowardly to be scared of scary ghosts, sweetheart. But they're not gonna hurt you. Because you can control your own powers. Thank you. Nothing personal. It was no accident. I made you children feel small, confused about yes. your own powers, so that I could control you. Yes. Why because you're a piece of shit. Focus. Believe with all of my heart. I actually yes. agree with him on this, but I don't trust him. He's gonna try and get us to go to oblivion and die. Why is this Reginald nicer than the other one? He's just as lunatic, but... Wow, so you can do this. Does he absorb their energy or something? What happens to them, or is he passing them on? Aren't you a miracle? I still don't trust Reginald. He has ulterior motives, always. What did Klaus just do? Can we save the people that got Kugel blitzed? Christopher now contains a Kugel Blitz. That's great. Not dangerous at all. Did it work? We still lost a lot of people, including a lot of the world. And it's nice to see them together and celebrating, but I don't think everything's done yet. I mean, it could be the Kugel Blitz is done with and we're going to deal with Oblivion next. You need to talk. I mean, I wouldn't be celebrating quite yet. Look at the world. It's very sweet, but how long have they known each other? This is very sweet, but did they not meet like a week ago? Will you marry me? I suppose when you know, you know. I guess I'm happy for him. <laughs> I mean, she seems like the nicest member of her family, and he definitely deserves happiness, so... I'm pregnant, Diego. The mindfuck this poor man is going through. She's done a lot of drinking. I'm pregnant. How can he ever believe you? Truth. Is this the truth? That's what I want. With you. You could have just come here and said this at the first place. Can I think about it? Can I have custody of the child if I say no? You did kind of stab him in the back. Never save enough lives to make up for the ones that we take. It's great. I don't accept that. Me neither. Brown. Find a way to time travel. Stop Harlan. Stop all of this. We step on ants. I don't accept that either. You don't get to make them alone. True, and he should have told you about Harlan. Allison also should have done the same thing. I am not a villain, Five. And Victor, I hope to God you never will be. But that remains to be seen. Same can be said of Allison right now. All Victor did here was not tell you something and try to save a life. I hope that's true. Lie to us again. Victor, I'll kill you myself. Well, this is great. 
I'm loving the family vibes here. Alison also lied to you because she didn't tell you about Harlan either. Let until me. after she'd killed him. Between me and Dad. Or did he tell him about whatever the other side is? I'm number one. You'll do as I say what I say. Why? Oh no. He didn't manage to hold the Kugel Blitz. Well, fuck. That was even bigger. We gotta go. Well, you know, we tried to make it better. Oh, this has gone splendidly. Okay, this episode was extraordinarily frustrating. I don't know if it's just my mindset going into it because I'm feeling a lot of stress today. Anyway, um, in a lot of ways it raised a lot of interesting points. And I know I was more on Victor's side in the argument, but I do also agree that Victor didn't handle everything perfectly and that should he should have told them about Harlan. But at the same time, he wanted to protect someone that he truly believed to be innocent from the consequences that his family would give them. And putting on here, it's like they're, they're more, they're angrier at Victor for not wanting Harlan to die than A, they are at Alison for just killing him without talking to anyone, B, than they are at the Sparrow Academy for insisting we want the life of that man in order to save the world. In what universe is that okay? Um, and I know it's because Victor is a member of their family and obviously there is a lot of history with Victor like season one um, with like world ending shenanigans um, but that was a long time ago and we've, we've worked our way through that. Victor has apologised for it. Um, and Alison this season has been acting like a villain. You know, she's sort of becoming, she's much more at risk of becoming a villain. And to a degree, they all are at risk of becoming a villain because they're all very dysfunctional. But we've seen her, she is bitter and angry. She believes that she deserves better than the world has given her. Now she does, obviously, and I can't imagine what she's been through, but she believes she has the right to take things from the world because the world hasn't given them to her. That's a villain. What she did with Luther, the fact that she killed Harlan with zero hesitation, without even consulting the... If it, it would have been one thing if she'd taken him back to the hotel and been like, this guy killed our parents, shall we kill him? And then, you know, they'd all have voted on it. I wouldn't... I still don't think killing him was worthwhile in any way, shape or form. And that Alison is far more acting like a villain. And yes, of course we have to keep an eye on Victor because he's extraordinarily powerful and has been going through a lot. Um, and the greatest danger with him is that he's been isolated from the group, but that was, you know, they isolated him. I mean, it was largely Reginald's fault for isolating him from the age of a child. Um, it is all of a mess, but I was kind of... I feel like this season there have been so many conversations where I've been like, finally, we're going to get a wholesome family moment. To a degree. Obviously, we've done Brella Academy wholesome family. And instead, it's just like, oh, actually, no not wholesome what is that word like this family despise each other apparently while also loving each other and it's just it's a mess and i think at least for me and other people may be watching the season and absolutely loving it and I'm, that's totally i hope i hope that's the case but i feel like they've missed the mark quite a bit this season with having a lot of these you know by season three you don't want a whole plot in about how everyone is dysfunctional and no one cares about each other and they're all off arguing all the time because it gets a little old um so I hope, I mean, we've got, what, three episodes left? Hopefully that gets solved. Um, so I was more, I was on Victor's side in the argument, um, but I'm not totally in agreement with everything Victor has done this season is basically where I'm at with that. I think Alison was totally out of line in killing Harlan, totally out of line in the way she was talking to Victor about it. You know, when there was a way to potentially get the box and get her back to Ray. She was doing fucking everything she could. He was doing everything he could. I'm just, my brain is spiralling between Alison and Victor. Um, but Alison is just frustrating me. And I think like, do they want us to dislike her? But then they keep doing things and I think they don't think that I'd be disliking her right now. I don't dislike her as a whole. I do still think like Alison in there is a character that I like, but the longer this goes on, the less that will be. And the main thing that she needs to apologise for is what she fucking did to Luther. And yet every time she's spoken to him, she's been like, oh, you bit of dirt under my shoe. Like, I, I, I don't get it. Another character I don't really care about is Lila. Um, now, that's not totally true. In season two, she was very frustrating, but I was like, oh, there is a character in there that maybe could, you know, grow and become a character we could, like, depend on. And I really hoped that would be her in this season. And now I feel like 
now at the end of season three I'm being like there's a character in there that can grow what we just kind of did nothing with her character for this whole season and maybe next season there'll be something to grow on now her being pregnant and this being a whole weird is he capable of being a father test the logic of it I can see it from a very messed up point of view but it was still a shitty thing to do and I no way fault him for being like look you've just dropped a kid on my life claimed that I've missed 12 years of his life claimed I am his father then you've been like lol jokes he was never really your son funny then he died in front of us like it's a lot for anyone to deal with I hope no matter what Diego's like but I want my child like I want a relationship with that child um but at this point everyone's gonna be dead so what's the point then you have Sloan and luther who are really sweet and i do get that the world is ending and there's often a thing of like when you're in a natural disaster or the world is ending people tend to jump quicker into marriages because there's like we're all gonna die tomorrow let's get married tonight but they have known each other a few weeks at best um it's very fast they're very sweet together um i suppose they don't have to physically get married anytime soon they can just be engaged for a long engagement but they're moving fast but they are very sweet and they both deserve happiness i think in a lot of ways they're the most kind of wholesome of their families um then we have Klaus and I still don't trust Reginald I still think we, we we know now he's made a deal with Ben we know that he is trying to he wants to deal with Oblivion and maybe the Oblivion genuinely needs to be stopped but the way it, the way Reginald has gone about it is terrible even the way he was treating Klaus at the beginning of this episode you know Klaus had pretty much signed he knew what it was so when he agreed to work with him yes he probably was going to die over and over and over again but he didn't need to do it in the way he did but I am proud of Klaus for ultimately being able to face his fears. I'm really intrigued about what this is going to mean for him going forwards. Very stressed for the entire world. I am sorry if I um, this review was not very good. I feel like, I don't know, my brain's a bit scrambled right now. And then I had some issues while recording. And yes, stressed. But this was a good episode in some ways. Like, I really enjoyed the bit where they all came together. Where they were able to finally, like, well, they thought they could stop the Kugel Blitz. Um... Five finally did something sensible and used his ability to teleport Grace away, um, but it was also too soon. I, I did wonder maybe we had defeated the Kugel Blitz because the Oblivion thing would be the main plotline. But looking at the state of the world, I genuinely think the only way forward from here would be to go back in time, depower Harlan before he kills their mothers. So, and maybe if possible, go back and depower him when he was still a little kid so that he can have some semblance of a life that isn't affected by this um and he and sissy don't have to keep running all the time whether victor then chooses to stay with them or not i mean the family haven't been much of a family to him um but i would like to think he'd stay with his family and then you know finding past reginald and being like look bitch you need to now take in 13 children here are their names go find them i don't know like how to make it all work without more Google blitzes or they'll all have to live in the past or something but it's all a fucking mess a reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my patreon two weeks in advance edited version one week in advance and thank you so much for watching